when Starlink came out, I was like, wow, this is incredible. And it works so well. What if I could put an automation system, you know, in this case, just our Groove Rio, which is a remote IO product, you know, monitor the temperatures in the freezer and the, in the ambient. And, you know, if that freezer starts to conk out, I've got, you know, a thousand dollars worth of ice in there. <laughs> I want to know if it, if it goes bad. And, and it was really easy to do. And again, because we're using TCP IP, we're using standard technologies. I was using MQTT to send the data up to, to a cloud server that would notify me. It was just fun. And yeah. you and I are, you know, we're alike in this regard. You've done a bunch of home automation and that's where I cut my teeth. In fact, I was just thinking about this getting ready for this podcast. And it was actually two Aussies who helped me on my first home automation project in 2009, which is a little late, but in 2009, I was, came up with some ideas. I had this thing called an iPod touch. I was still a Blackberry guy at the time, so I didn't have an iPhone. But this iPod Touch had a full web browser on it. I was like, why aren't we using something like this to interact with our control system? So two Aussies helped me, Ben Orchard and another guy named Nick Stevens. And we put our heads together and we kind of came up, you know, we got a Linux computer, we got some IO, we got some software on there, we wrote some JavaScript, and I, I built a web interface 